Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you the demo social login with OR2 in Spring Boot application. So in this demo, I am going to log in by using Facebook, Google, Twitter and LinkedIn and then getting a profile from the social network and then storing the profile details into your Spring Boot application and also by using sign in with the social network and then you can log in into the Spring Boot application. For example, if I click the sign in with Facebook, the Facebook will ask you the notification to share your profile details. Once you click OK, then the Spring Boot application can able to access your Facebook profile details and then can create an account. So we will go for the next step now. In your Spring Boot application, in the application.properties file, you have to configure the data source for MySQL. The database uh, name I am using social. And then I used the JPA, so I added the JPA and Iberner properties in the application.properties file. And also, my Spring Boot application will work only in the HTTPS. So I created the key store file and then the key store type is pkcstual so that the application will run only in the HTTPS and also the server port number I configured 9123 okay and then there is an social iPhone CFG I mean the configuration properties file I am keeping in the Spring Boot application so the first property auto sign up is false so whenever you log in into the social network so your application will not be auto login and then the control will be redirected to the sign up page in the sign up page you can change your first name or last name details and then you can create an account in your Spring Boot application. If you made it as true, then the password and everything will be in random generator. So whenever you log in into the Spring Boot application, you have to use the social networking. And then the Google scope, Google client ID, Google client secret. So these are the configuration you have to provide so client id client secret from the google and then the facebook also facebook app id app secret you have to provide and then the scope should be you need to provide for the facebook google and then linkedin so when you create an app the app in linkedin the linkedin will provide a consumer key and consumer secret the consumer key and consumer secret you have to provide and then the scope also and then for Twitter, Twitter also when you create an app in the Twitter, it will provide you a consumer key and consumer secret. But in the Twitter, if you want to add a scope, then you have to be request to the Twitter for accessing additional parameters such as the additional information such as email address, username and everything. So I did not go for that additional information when I creating an app for the Twitter. I just use the basic details of the Twitter. Okay, so this is the social config properties you have to follow in your application or YAML file. So this is very, very important. The client ID, client secret, app ID, app secret, consumer key and consumer secret for your social network logins. You have to provide it here. Already the Spring Boot application is running in my machine in the Tomcat port started number 9123 and then the application has been started in 8.89 seconds. Now I am going to show you the demo. This is the welcome page I created. Here I provided the three links. One is home, user info and admin. Home is like a basic page. I mean the home page and then the user info and admin. User info is like an only the role app user can be accessed and then admin link can be accessed only the role users like admin role users can access. Okay. Now I am clicking a user info link. So far, I did not log in into the social media login application. So it's asking a login. So I can able to log in by using Facebook, Google, Twitter and LinkedIn. And also I can able to create a new account. So I don't need a social network. Then you can create a new account here also. Okay. So now 
I am going to click a sign in with Facebook. I am just trying to log in into this application by using Facebook. So here I need to provide my email ID and password of the Facebook. I am trying to log in here. Okay. So here, so look at this notification application is asking you, I mean the Facebook is asking you to share the details to the app. So now I am clicking continue as Amaresh. Now the Facebook profile details can be shared into this My Spring Boot application. So the control is directly redirected to the sign up page. Here I can able to get the first name, last name and then the email ID. Okay. So these are the basic details I can able to get it from the Facebook. If you want to modify the first name and last name, you can modify it here. And also here I am providing my username. I am providing my username is Amar. And then I am giving a password test test. Okay. I am trying to create a new account. Okay. So look at here. User info page. I can able to access and also the user info role is an role underscore user. Now I am trying to access the admin link. But here I am getting an error. Hi Amar. You don't have the permission to access this page because I am a role user. I am not an admin user role. But if I click user info, then I can able to use user info. Now I can able to successfully log in into the Facebook profile. Now I'm clicking log out. Okay. Now I'm trying to log in into the user info page. Once again, I'm trying to sign in with the Facebook. But already I logged into the Facebook in the same browser window. So automatically the control is redirected to the home page i mean the user info page and also the profile has been created into the spring boot application so no need to create once again i mean no need to show the user info i mean the sign up page now i'm clicking admin okay log out now i'm clicking a user info now i'm trying to log in with the sign in with google and also before that while creating a sign in with facebook I use the username Amar and then the password test test. Now I can able to log in by using Amar here also. Okay. I'm clicking a logout. Now I'm trying to log in with the sign in with Google. So here you have to log in with your Gmail account. I'm clicking next and then I am giving my password okay so look at here the control will be redirecting to in my to my application and also the same sign up page with the go sign up with Google the sign up page is coming here I can able to get the details the first name last name email ID username one password everything from the gmail it's not not from the pass not the password only the username okay pardon so now i can able to it's a lengthy username provided by the gmail now i can able to change this hammer one and then the password i'm giving creating a new account okay the new account has been created login by using gmail account now i'm trying to click admin so because the every user the social networking user i just logged in as a role underscore user okay i'm log out now i'm trying to log in with sign in with google once again automatically the control will be redirecting to the user info home page because already i signed into the google account in the same browser window and also the user account has been created already in the spring boot application okay now i'm clicking admin okay log out now i am trying to log in with the sign in with twitter and also before that i just want to make sure i be created an account for google amar one right so i am trying to log in with amar one but giving an invalid password but i am getting an error hammer hammer test test okay this is my password i think I think this is a Facebook user. <laughs> okay, I use Amar1 for uh, Google user. Okay, 
so not only by social networking site you can after creating an account in spring boot application by using a username and password form you can log in now i am trying to log in with this sign in with twitter so look at here i just want to log in into my twitter account okay so redirecting you back to the application so i can able to access the twitter application and also the twitter shared few details only only the first name and then the username okay so here i am can able to give the last name and my email id i am trying to give okay i think this email id already created okay so if i click create account without the password password is required so this validation also i did that the username i just want to change amar2 okay the password test test i am giving create new account so look at here amar2 user has been created this user also have the role user not the admin user so i am you don't have the permission to access the page the admin page but if i click the user info i can able to as see the user info page okay now i'm trying to log out and then log in with by using created account hammer2 by using the twitter okay so look at here not only by one but not only by the social networking side you can log in by using our social no nah, i mean the login form not the social account now the last one the sign in with the linkedin now i'm clicking a sign in with the linkedin button so here i need to provide my username and password to log in into my linkedin okay i'm giving a password i'm clicking a sign in so look at here it is also the linkedin also asking a notification to allow to share your details to the spring boot application now i'm clicking allow okay so look at here the sign up page is coming and also i uh, i can able to get the details samrai soran surya murthy and then this is my email id and then the username i am giving amar3 and then the password i am giving test test now i am clicking a create account so look at here by using linkedin also i can able to log in and then get the details from the linkedin account and then create an account in the my spring boot application user info admin uh, by default uh, admin don't have the permission to uh, i mean user don't have the permission to see the admin page now i'm clicking a log out now i'm trying to log in by using username and password form for the cre user created by using linkedin account so look at here i can able to log in i'm clicking a log out not only by social networking side you can create a new account with the same site so here i am giving a first name test last name test email id i am giving test at test.com username i am giving test test the password i am giving test test okay create account so look at here so if you don't want to log in with the social networking site you can sign up pair i mean you can create a new account in the same site okay so this is user also a role underscore user if i click the admin so the admin i mean the user can't see the admin page so every user i created a role underscore user admin user are i did not created yet because i i added only the permission to show an error message like this i'm clicking a logout okay so the git url has been shared in the description section please go through that okay Thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel like my videos and share my videos thank you very much